Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to target over a CDF calculation. If there is a function and function for the continuous random variable and we see there are many intervals. When intervals are more, a lot of integration is used when we are calculating CDF. So uh, we always look for the crisp and direct technique so that it can save us to do a lot of integration. So I am going to implement this formula which you can see in my slide wherein I have to do only integration one time which is for the current interval and rest we will use the previous CDFs. So let us see with the help of question. In this question we have a two interval and elsewhere it is zero. So when we write down all the interval nicely we can see that less than zero and greater than two we have zero value and between zero to one, one to two there are two different functions and we will calculate accordingly there are four points like four intervals CDF. So the first one is very obvious like we, we integrate the all the probability and I know that less than zero there is no PDF so the integration will zero is always zero so we do not have to do integration I can directly plug in the value. Now we want to find out for the second interval that means this value. For this value uh, I will use the current formula which I have for which I want to find out the CDF previous interval. There is no function so we only have to integrate this much and we know that x can be replaced by t and we can integrate it. So after integration we will get x square by 2 and when x square by 2 can be substituted in its place. So we can see that x square by 2 is there. Now let's see for the next interval which is 1 to 2. And in 1 to 2, the function is 2 minus x, lower value is 1. So if I plug in the current formula, how it works, that interval. And I want to find out what is the CDF for this function. And we know that the CDF of the previous interval is x square by 2. In that case, we plug in this value 1 in this interval. So how this work? When we plug in x is equals to 1 and we only integrate the current interval function 2 minus t only the difference is what the lower value is fixed the upper value is variable and after integration we see that this previous value comes out to be 1 by 2 when I plug in x is equals to 1 here and when we integrate and plug in the lower and upper and lower value we turn up with the because after integration putting the value and simplifying we get this 2x here minus x square by 2 and this value and this value when clubbed and simplified we get minus 1. So we got the third interval also. So here otherwise we have to integrate 0 to 1 this function x but we do not need to do that. And the last one is what this is left if I go as per the formula. As per the formula this part is 0 so we do not have any integration this will be 0 only I have to plug in the value of x is equals to 2 in the previous interval CDF and the question can be done. And when we plug in we get the value 1. So we know that the last interval the CDF is always 1. So we get this answer. Now I want to move ahead with the question having more than this interval like more than 2. So we observe that there are 3 intervals with some function available elsewhere it is 0. Uh, in this question, I will also cover one more point of finding unknown. So in this question, since there were three intervals and before 0 and after 3, we don't have any function. So when we write down in proper interval, we get a 5 intervals, right? So we want to find out these 5 functions. So let's begin with 1 by 1. As we know that, I have already shared with you that because less than 0, we are integrating 0. So integration of 0 will remain as 0. So we do not need to integrate it and let's see the next one but before next one let us quickly recall the formula once again so that it will fix to your mind what is the motive that function pdf is given interval is with me like here and I want to find out the CDF formula says that only do integration of the current function which is a pdf lower limit will be same whatever is given in the question upper limit will be arbitrary and what we can do if there is any CDF of the previous interval just plug in the lower value in that and you will get the previous data so previous interval so let's begin with the second interval this interval 
here ax is the function lower limit is 0 as per the formula I'll see the CDF of the previous interval plug in 0 over there and integration from 0 to x and function is ax so we can write down at over here and in this manner because in my cur current situation we don't have any previous CDF value so we won't get anything from here only integration will be done for the current interval and here integration of t is t square by 2 a is still I'll carry forward a in all the steps only we will see it in the end so we will get a x square by 2 and that becomes the CDF of the second interval now comes the third interval in the third interval what happened the lower value is 1 like in this interval and we want to find out the CDF for this one and we see that uh, function is constant which is a so as per the formula the current interval function is to be only integrated and we have to add the CDF when I plug in the value of lower limit in the previous so we know that before this interval there is this interval and CDF is given to us a x square by 2 I'll plug in a value here that is one value here and we'll get the answer so when I plug in one value I'll get a by 2 and integration is only done for what uh, 1 to x of a and we get this because it's a constant and integration of dt is only t and when we plug in we get a x minus 1 and after simplification we will get this because a by 2 is here and minus a is here so when we will simplify we will get minus half for that and in this right now this formula is very very helpful in these kind of question where we have a lot of intervals otherwise if I go by previous usual technique usually we see that we integrate again and again the previous entry so we don't want that ultimately we know that CDF is giving us the sum of all the previous probabilities so we do not have to add the all entries now see the current situation in the current situation what we are going to do is now our in interest is in the fourth interval this one I want to find out that here the 2 is lower value current function is 3x minus ax in this fourth interval right so formula says only integrate this function right so plug in the value 2 in the previous interval and then what will happen this will be the situation means we are otherwise I usually we do integration 0 to 1 1 to 2 we do not need to do that directly plug in the value of the previous interval I mean value of lower well uh, into the previous interval and just go ahead with the calculation of only the current function right and we get the answer and we'll see that when I think I already evaluated just to share with you the procedure and we can see that when we plug in the value 2 here it is x is equals to 2 that become 2a minus a by 2 is already there and when we integrate 3a that become 3at and integration of t is at square by 2 and when we plug in the upper value we get this expression when we do the lower value we get this value minus 4a can be clubbed with 3 by 2a so we can see that 2 4 is 8 minus 8 plus 3 become minus 5 by 2a and this is with x will be as it is and in this manner the second last which is a fourth interval can also be evaluated now the last one can be done in the same manner like in the last we know that there is no function so this part will be zero we won't get anything here so here uh, in this interval integration is not to be done only plugging in the value of 3 in the previous CDF is to be done so when we plug in the value in the previous CDF we get this answer and uh, when we simplify it after simplification after plugging in the value of x is equals to a and simplifying we get 4a by 2 and this become 2a so that means the last interval when x is greater than 3 we get 2a and we are observing that we have calculated CDF but it is still unknown is there so how we are going to handle that situation since we know that uh, to find out a we know that that the in CDF after the last interval the CDF become constant which is 1 so we are going to use this result that once 
we will see the last value this value we can plug in that value equals to 1 so CDF is 2a so last CDF you put it equals to 1 and then you will get the answer of a because this is always 1 so we can use this technique to find the unknown so here also we are saving ourselves to integrate three integrals because if we go by usual technique we, we, we have to integrate all of them so if any question is demanding you CDF and unknown together so how it can be done because CDF is to be evaluated you cannot run away from that so you can evaluate the CDF and simultaneously the moment we reach the last value equate it equals to 1 you will get the value of a and once you get the value of a like here 1 by 2 you plug in a here in place of a it's 1 by 2 when you plug in you will get the exact values of the CDF in every interval and like here we get this value so we saw that the one part was finding a another part was finding CDF we use this formula to save ourselves to all of integration and we get the answer I hope you got some information from this formula thank you for watching